Here are the times that Hollywood actually got science right. Number 10. Origin of Wakanda If you've watched Black Panther, you probably noticed how advanced Wakanda was as a whole. They were years ahead of the rest of the world in terms of technology and resources. According to the movie, a meteorite crashed on Wakanda. The society near the area got a lot of benefits from the crash rather than becoming disadvantaged. The reason was because the meteorite crash brought an extremely rare metal to Wakanda the world didn't have. This metal was the reason why Wakanda became as advanced as they did. Interestingly enough, the backstory on Wakanda does have historic and scientific relevance. In the Stone Age, when meteorites crashed in Greenland, Africa, and South America, people over there got access to iron before anyone else. They used the iron obtained from the remains of the meteorites to make harpoons, spikes, tools, and weapons. Number 9. Jellyfish Immunity We all know that jellyfish are quite dangerous and that they're one of the deadliest creatures in the ocean. We're not immune to the toxins of jellyfish and a lot of animals in the sea aren't any different either. So, do you guys remember that one scene in Finding Nemo where Dory and Marlin encounter a bunch of jellyfish? Dory was injured by the jellyfish, but Marlin was able to swim through all the jellyfish in order to rescue her. Surprisingly, Marlin survived the attack. Marlin explains that since he lives in an anemone, he's resistant to stings. Surprisingly, this is actually true. Clownfish and sea anemones have a complex and mutually beneficial relationship. Clownfish live in and are protected by some species of sea anemone. Anemone tentacles sting and kill other species of fish, but the clownfish is protected from the anemone sting. Clownfish have a thick mucus layer on their skin that protects them from the stings. Studies have suggested that the clownfish's protection can be innate, acquired, or both, depending on the species. It's also suggested that some species of clownfish are innately protected from an anemone sting before ever coming into contact with an anemone. The stinging cells of anemones and jellyfish are very similar and both belong in the same phylum. And that's why Marlin was able to swim through the jellyfish and rescue Dory. Number 8. Star-Lord in Space Imagine being left out in space without oxygen, without equipment, without anything for your survival. Sounds scary, right? That's exactly what happened to Star-Lord, or Peter Quill, in the Guardians of the Galaxy. Quill was left out in space for a few seconds and he survived. Let's go ahead and say this so there's no confusion. We're not meant for outer space. We wouldn't survive longer than a couple of minutes if we're lucky. The nitrogen in your body would start to expand into bubbles and block your blood flow, similar to the way the bends works. Essentially, your body would start to decompress almost immediately. However, you would not explode like a lot of people believe. At most, an astronaut without a suit would last about 15 seconds before losing consciousness from a lack of oxygen. To make it even for a few seconds, Star-Lord would have to blow out air from his lungs. If he hadn't, the vacuum would have caused that oxygen to expand and rupture his lung tissue, forcing fatal air bubbles into his blood vessels and ultimately into his heart and brain. Accidents have shown that astronauts can survive exposure to vacuum conditions for at least a couple of minutes and be repressurized with few ill effects. Number 7. Good Science Breaking Bad was one of the most thrilling, well-written, and well-directed shows to many people. The show had a lot of science, but how much it was actually real? Well, it's really tough to say. A lot of the science on the show had elements of truth in it. For example, Wolf used a fulminated mercury to blow up a building. The science is right, but he would have needed a lot more to make it work in real life. It's worth noting that Vince Gilligan, the creator of Breaking Bad, wanted nothing more than to get the science right in the show, and that means that not all the science is wrong. In the Breaking Bad pilot, Walt was forced to reveal his recipe to rival dealers in his RV. So Walt takes advantage of the cooking process to fill the RV with phosphine gas. When white phosphorus is mixed with sodium hydroxide, the phosphine gas is produced. The colorless and flammable gas wreaks havoc on the respiratory system when inhaled, and it doesn't take much at all. It's life-threatening at just 50 parts per million, or just 0.005% of the volume of breathable air. Good thing Walt and Jesse had one of those respirators, otherwise they easily would have ended up just like their rival dealers. Number 6. Hank the Octopus It's obvious that animated movies don't make sense scientifically. 
fish talking to different species of aquatic animals, living like family and friends. Uh, do we need to say that this doesn't happen in the real world? However, Hollywood does try to get some things right, thankfully. We're going to go back to Finding Nemo. The appearance and abilities of Hank the Octopus is uh, absolutely just like in real life. In the movie, Hank could change colors and perfectly blend into his surroundings. He would change his skin color and his pattern so that he's practically invisible. And the amazing part is, Mimic Octopus can absolutely do that. They can change their color faster than any other animal group. This trait helps them survive underwater attacks by other animals like sharks and whales. At one point in the movie, Hank gets scared when he's in a touch pool where kids are trying to poke him. So he puts out ink into the water. Real Mimic Octopuses do this too if they're trying to make a quick escape. In another scene, Hank carries Dory in a coffee pot as he walks around on land. Similar to fish, octopus breathe by pumping water across their gills. When they leave the water, their gills are no longer buoyant, so they collapse and can't take in enough oxygen for survival. But octopus can survive out of water for a relatively long time before that stops them. Find out more about other crazy animals in this video where we discuss the craziest animals that actually do exist. Number 5. Black Spheres Interstellar was known for its dedication to scientific accuracy. Director Christopher Nolan wanted to ensure that Interstellar was as close as possible to real science when it came to depicting wormholes and black holes. In the movie, the black hole was shown how it would look like if you were to ever get close enough to view it with your own eyes. The interstellar black hole was created using a new CGI rendering software that was based on theoretical equations provided by theoretical physicist Kip Thorne and a group of researchers. It appears that interstellar's black hole correctly portrayed the orange dust and gas effect of a real black hole. The interstellar black hole was presented as a sphere and not just a two-dimensional hole. The sphere came complete with disks of dust and gas that formed ring shapes. Astronomers captured the first image of a real black hole and made the image public back on April 10th, 2019. Yes, the colors of the disks portrayed in Interstellar are a bit different from the actual blurry picture, but the disk pops in a similar way to what Interstellar portrayed in the actual movie. Number 4. Bruce the Shark We're going to go back to Finding Nemo again because, to be honest, they got a lot of the facts about animals right. The scene we're referencing is about Bruce the Shark. He always used to cry and complain to his mother about never meeting his father, and that's actually absolutely right. Once pups emerge, they're on their own. There is no parental care in any species of shark. Sharks are essentially born live with all the instincts they need to find food and avoid predators. Sharks don't care for their babies after they are born, but they do search for a safe place where they can lay their eggs or give birth. Interestingly enough, a single litter of shark pups can have anywhere from one to five dads, according to one study. Multiple paternity appears to be very common among sharks and has been documented in at least six species so far. The most widely accepted explanation for multiple paternity is just based on convenience. Basically, sharks aren't picky. It's just all about who's around. As soon as male sharks do their thing, they just leave. Number three, John Wick shenanigans. A wise man once said, when we talk about John Wick, we should only be saying nice things about him. You never know when he'd show up with a pencil. Okay, that pencil trick that John Wick does probably isn't going to work in real life, but there are plenty of things that happen in John Wick that make sense. For example, there's the underwater scene in John Wick 3. John Wick and some random guy fell into an indoor pool. When the random bad guy shot the gun, the bullet failed to reach John Wick. The rounds immediately began to flutter off course, reacting to the dense water in what's probably the most realistic example portrayed of water's effects on bullets. The reason behind this is the high density of water and the bullet can't overcome it. While pretty much every other movie shows bullets whizzing through the water, the truth is bullets won't reach their target in the water most of the time. Water is roughly 800 times denser than air and has a huge effect on the trajectory and energy of a round. The bullet essentially loses energy extremely quickly and would have almost no chance of reaching its intended target. Number two, webs of steel. In case you guys haven't noticed, superhero movies don't exactly care about science. Superheroes pretty much are portrayed doing whatever they want, but sometimes truth and fiction intersect. Spider-Man is one of the strongest heroes in the Marvel Comics universe, and one of his biggest displays of his strength was in the second Spider-Man movie. 
in an iconic scene, he managed to stop a train out of control with the help of his spider webs. And yes, we do have to suspend some disbelief to some extent by accepting that Spider-Man is stronger than what's possible. Spider-Man managed to hold the train by shooting his web to stick to nearby buildings to stop the runaway train. Amazingly, this is actually possible. Darwin's Bark Spider from Madagascar creates the toughest known webs that's more than 10 times stronger than Kevlar. An analysis of the Darwin's Bark Spider silk indicates it's the toughest biological material discovered to date. Darwin's Bark Spiders are extremely small, but their webs are extraordinarily strong. Number 1. Deep Impact Remember the movie Deep Impact from way back in 1998? Can something like that actually happen to us? In one scene, there was a wave that was so high that it swallowed up pretty much everything in New York City. Surprise, surprise, the tsunami shown in the movie was quite realistic. In reality, mega tsunamis can happen, and how big they get depends only on the amount of energy that hits the water. The biggest tsunami ever recorded was as high as 1,720 feet higher than the Shanghai World Financial Center building. Of course, tsunamis have never been as big as what was shown in the movie, but the movie was right. It would take something from outer space to create the biggest tsunami we've ever seen.